right before our eyes. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green is out there with Avery Bradley. And it's McGee in at the five. Matthews, no good off the back of the rim. And it's the Lakers ball. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Now here's James, six on the shot clock, and it's Davis at the elbow. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up. Playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Outside Matthews. Pass to Middleton. Now here's Young. Pass to Bledsoe. to under the combo no good from outside and you know even though that shot didn't go down I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there Bradley passes to James shoots over Matthews and James with the basket on the assist by breath LeBron's got his second basket of the night Giannis against Davis Here's onto Takumbo. Count that one. Boy, he is so dangerous from this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tightly, he powers through. Oh, oh, that was a strong goal. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make play. It gets them going. And there it is for him. One thirty-one left to play in the first. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree, I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And here on the first, approaching three minutes played. Hill deciding where to go with it. The pass to Lopez. It's rebounded by Ronda. Lakers leading by four. And Clark, although he's not the force he once was on the floor, Rajon Rondo still can give you strong minutes in bursts. Greg, I tell you what, I love watching this guy work. I know his double-digit assist days are long in his rearview mirror, but this dude still knows how to run a team, and he is ideal for leading your second unit because he's an orchestrator, a facilitator, a playmaker, and guys love playing with him. You can just feel how guys enjoy playing with Rondo running the show. And the Bucks with possession here after the missed three from Contavious Caldwell Pope. Lopez passes to DiVincenzo and stolen by Howard. Rondo dishes to Howard. 
And it's Howard finishing it off. You know, Rondo's highest priority is to get his teammates open shots every trip. I mean, that's what makes him go and endears him to his teammates. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. They get the rebound. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. And he comes up with the deuce. I think it's important that Caldwell Pope makes these shots, showing real toughness converting through contact. Now Hill. Shot to stop the run. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Los Angeles on top. They lead by eight. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports.